Hey, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the visually impaired person VIP tag. So let's check it out. All right, visually impaired person tag, which is hashtag VIP. Now this has been around for a while, I guess. I've never really noticed it. Just recently in the last week or so, I've started following some visually impaired people on YouTube and which were like uh, blind grilling and blind to billionaire. Um, and going through some of their comments, I found other people. And last night I found Roxy Diamond, okay? And she did a VIP video and she personally called me out to do this. I didn't, I've never even spoken to her once. It, well, actually she called out all blind people that haven't done this video, but I'm gonna say she personally called me out to do it. So, so before I start, I'm going to describe what's on screen right now um, for my visually impaired friends. You have to put sighted people uh, some trinkets and things for them to, uh, so they stay focused. So on the screen, in the top left corner, I have a Smith & Wesson, 442 J frame revolver. It's a 38 special. It has a two inch barrel. It's a nice small pistol. Uh, it's a revolver that is uh, black. So the, the coating on the outside looks black. Um, and it's, it's a nice shooting pistol. Um, in the center of the screen is a sticker I just received. It is my logo, which has a revolutionary soldier on horseback holding an old style lantern with uh, standing in front of a giant moon. So it has a ring with uh, two cross muskets and two AR-15s. I am a firearm guy, as you may notice, but uh, then I have some gun channels patch and some, some other patches too. So uh, let's get to these questions, this VIP tag. Uh, the first question is what medical condition caused my visual impairment? That would be diabetic retinopathy, um, kind of in a progression from uh, floaters in, in one eye to totally blind in about, I'd say, three or four years. I had multiple laser surgeries and some invasive ones, and um, that's all. Anyway, so diabetic retinopathy. Um, the second question is three words to describe your vision. Now, I, I've thought about this, and the first thing that comes to mind is 100% perfectly blind, right? Because you've got to be perfect at something, I might as well be perfectly blind. Now, I know 100% might be considered two words, but uh, that's what I'm sticking with. Or, you know, totally lights out, you know, there's, there's all sorts of ones. But I have no vision, it is totally dark, which, that's why I'm in the dark. Uh, let's see, the next question is, all right, we got the, uh, worst thing about being blind, all right? Let's see, the worst thing, uh, I guess there's, there's a couple things, but, you know, there's easy ones like driving. I used to drive a lot. I collected cars and did all that kind of stuff, and <clears throat> since I lost my vision, I've, I've uh, basically given all that stuff up. Obviously, they don't like me driving. Um, the worst thing though, um, and I try to stay positive, but the worst thing is not seeing my daughter. Uh, she was born, um, the year I started losing my vision. Um, and she is 11 now and yeah, not to see her face and see her, you know, get married and, you know, smiles and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, I guess that's, that's more of a, a selfish reason. Of, of being, you know, not being blind or whatever, not liking being blind. Um, all right, next question is the best thing about being blind. Now this one, there, there, there are just, just like any question, there's multiple answers, but the one I'm, I'm going to say is I like being a motivation, right? So you have, have people that, uh, you know, in all walks of life, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people that, you know, they get down in the dumps and, oh, my life's so bad. You know, then they look and they see somebody like me that I'm 100% blind, but I own my own home. 
I do woodworking, I do firearms, I you know, raise a daughter, I've, I do anything, anything I set my mind to. And hopefully that is an inspiration to people and then that makes me feel good because I like ex kind of exciting people, I guess, you know, because there's a lot of people that go, whoa, you can do that, you know, kind of wow factor, I guess. And so it, it's kind of nice, uh, you know, proving people wrong. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say, but yeah, yeah, I, I like to, uh, you know, prove people that, you know, I can do whatever I want without swearing. Um, so that's that. Let's see, the next question. Um, cane, guide dog, or neither? You know, do, do I use? Um, this is very important. I use a cane. Um, anyone out there that is visually impaired, low vision to 100% blind, um, it's probably one of the most important things um, next to braille, you know, learning braille, uh, so that you are self-reliant. There is no other thing in the world that's more important than being able to uh, do things for yourself, you know, where you don't have to wait for somebody to show up to do whatever project or work, you know, go somewhere, right? You know, self-reliance is, is key. You know, being able to to not have to worry about meeting up with somebody or waiting for them to get out of a job or, you know, whatever. You know, so that you can get out and walk in a store and be, uh, you know, self-reliant. It's, it's, uh, it's a skill that you need to practice, um, get some good training, find a good OEM instructor and, and do it. You know, there's, there's no reason that you can't. You know, it's it's very important. So, um, use a cane. All right. Now, if I can remember the rest of the questions, <laughs> uh, let's. I I might be skipping around, so this might not be the the direct list. But, uh, what kind of advice would you give to a low vision person? All right, low vision. My advice is. Do not live your life through other people's fears and their insecurities. What I mean by that, um, just because somebody thinks you can't do it or they're scared because they don't understand it should not limit you. There is no reason you can't do anything you want. Skydiving, learn it, do it, right? Spelunking, you know, cave diving, find a good instructor and do it. It might take a little bit to find an instructor that's willing to train you, but it is possible. You know, I've got firearm training, being totally blind, and you know, it took a while to get people to uh, come come to their senses and understand that you know I'm I'm probably safer than you know most people that they deal with on a daily basis. But don't take no for an answer. If you want to do something, figure it out. You know, we all adapt and overcome. That that's kind of how it goes. I mean, just like in the Marine Corps, that's what we do. You know, you, you find out something that you want to do, and don't let other people's you know insecurities, because that that's that's what it is. You know, if somebody comes to you and they they want to you know tell you that oh it's it's not safe for you to use power tools. You know, hey, <laughs> as long as you know how how safety works, you know, find out, get the right training, you can do it, and. Uh, Take, uh, uh, don't take no for an answer. You know? I mean, obviously the driving thing, you know, you can always rent a car and uh, go to the salt flats in Nevada. I mean, I've always wanted to do that, but. Anyway, so that is the, the advice for a low vision blind person. Uh, the advice for a sighted person dealing with a low vision person. Now, there's a lot of, things that sighted people need to know. But the most important thing is, you know, give the person space. You know, if, if they look like they're frustrated, you know, ask them if they need help. If they say no, step back, right? Give them space because, you know, we have to find out on our own, you know, ways of doing things, all right? You know, you can do your little suggestions and that's fine, but leave us alone as far as 
you know, don't try to do things for us. You know, ask if we say no, take that as the answer. You know, don't, don't think that you have to hound us because we're embarrassed or whatever. You know, I mean, there's different kinds of people, I guess, whatever, but give them space and ask questions, right? At the appropriate time. I mean, don't wait until they're, you know, in the middle of a party and ask them something that, that might be taken wrong or, you know, that that's embarrassing or something like that. Cause that's, you know, just like anybody, you know, timing is, is good. Um, ask them questions uh, and give them space. If they need help with something, you know, tell them that you're available and then leave it at that. If they come and ask you for help, then, then you know, do it. If you understand it and you know a way of doing something, that's fine. If you don't, find somebody that does, you know, offer proper training. You know, if they want to go skydiving, you know, try to find them a good instructor. Don't just, you know, the first guy in the yellow pages or however you search it out now. <laughs> no. Anyway, so give them space and, and listen. You know, that's, that's, everybody wants to be heard. So, all right, uh, let's see. The next question, uh, why, why did I start on YouTube or social media? Um, Let's see, if you watch my channel, you know that um, I've been a proponent of descriptions, right? Um, it's no secret that I've done, you know, firearms, that's, that's my thing. I love firearms and, you know, once I purchased a firearm, I, looking and looking, you know, 20, maybe 30 videos to find, uh, you know, kind of a, a generic cross-section of something that's explained right because sighted people they they have a, a thing where they'll point and say oh make it look like this or or push this until it's over on this side like that you know and they don't describe it they don't tell what they're doing and it, it's totally frustrating so my first videos were you know descriptive videos as far as you know explaining all you know the parts and which where they were and locations I mean I'd try um, I have a, a playlist of descriptive field strips of firearms. Um, and then kind of from that, I went into, um, I did a blind challenge. I called out a bunch of people to do, um, that are sighted to put on a blindfold and basically describe uh, stripping down a firearm or doing something with a firearm as though they were doing it over the phone so that they could... Uh, describe it and learn to describe it and you know it, I, I'm sure it opened up a lot of eyes uh, there was actually some new people that had never made videos that actually stepped up to the challenge and I actually in that I have I believe 62 videos so there are a lot of videos that uh, I've kind of made a library and it's kind of a you know a passion to you know there are a lot of uh uh, visually impaired people that do like firearms, so it's kind of a, a cool little thing. Um, from that, I went into um, defending our liberties, you know, and, and being more active uh, as a Second Amendment activist um, and trying to, you know, make a difference, uh, protect our rights and our civil rights. Um, and so, yeah, that's why I started on, on YouTube, guntube.org gunstreamer.com, Instagram, and the Twitter. So, yeah, you can check me out all those places, Patreon in the Dark. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't know, how many was that? I think that's about it. Uh, oh, what question are you asked? All right, and this, this I guess, uh, th these questions are out of order, and I do apologize, but what question are you asked the most? Um, I get a lot of questions of, you know, how, how can you do X, right? You know, so, you know, how can you, you know, use a firearm? You know, I, I get that one a lot because obviously that's, that's kind of what I talk about, you know, is firearms and, you know, being active and self-defense and all those kind of things. Um, so that, that is a question uh, that I get in person a lot. You know, you go to a, uh, a gun store or something like that. You kind of get looks, I'm sure. But, hey, they know me. And uh, they, 
I guess they're they're satisfied with it. But it's basically how do you do this? You know, how can you, you know, being a blind guy, how can you do this? You know, kind of the snooty questions. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the last thing is obviously calling out uh, other visually impaired people to do videos. Uh, most of the people that I know that are visually impaired uh, don't make videos, but I'm going to send them uh, direct links to this. So if I sent you a link to this and you're visually impaired and you haven't done it, uh, you, you're called out. Everybody knows that you're watching this right now. And uh, to my good friend, Blind Shooter, that usually beats me to the chase and has in <laughs> the last couple uh, uh, videos and challenges, I'm calling you out. So hopefully I'll get this out before you get yours out so that it doesn't make me look silly. So, uh, yeah, if there, you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I know this is kind of rambling on, um, but uh, I'm kind of an open book. You know, I'll answer everything unless I don't want to, and then I'll tell you. I don't want to answer that. But, you know, have a great day. I do appreciate you uh, sitting through all this nonsense. And uh, never fear the dark.